Hello, this is the infamous FA and continuing on with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. In the last part, played through quite a lot of Chapter 10, as Red 13 and Barrett made their way down the ca down the cave of the G. At the end of it, they fought they fought a boss battle against an, an enemy called G Natak, and. Uh, Sorry, Red Thirteen got to finally find out that it was his father who was the Watcher, although all all those years ago. That was a nice scene. It was kind of a bit r rushed. Like I felt, I felt a little bit as the as like it's gone straight back. You know, it's gone straight back off script now a bit. But yeah, straight after that, G I G Natak appeared again straight after the boss fight. A uh, bit confused why, because it's like, why did he fight Red 13 and Barrett then, if... And then straight afterwards talk to the party as normal. But yeah, he's, he spoke to the party and basically told them to follow him, and... They followed him now on this boat ride to this area, the village of the G. Where, don't know what's going to happen next. Mystery. Also, there was a... Point where it switched back to Zack again, and I'm still I'm still confused. What's going to happen with that story? Like when when is that going to cross over with Cloud's story? Like because we keep switching back between both Cloud and Zack throughout the game. But yeah, as well, uh, Sephiroth also appeared as well. I I don't know why in in that scene. When uh when when they when G when G Natak walked off. Cloud saw Sephiroth for a second, so... I don't know if that was like it trying to imply something, like, is G Natak working with Sephiroth? Are they allies in some way? Welcome to our domain, children of the planet. <laughs> Y'all hear that just now? But yeah, I don't remember any of this I did say in last video, I don't remember any of this from the original game. So I'm guessing this is all like brand new stuff for Rebirth. Our flesh is gone, yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you. I can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. <laughs> okay then. They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Yeah. Yuffie's seen it like a positive thing where where from their point of view they probably don't want to live forever. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds yeah. like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both. Okay, I might switch out. I did. Uh, I did. I was gonna have Red Thirteen in the last part, but I might switch out just to get the new skill for Kate Sif. Oh, and Aerith as well. So I've got to keep Aerith. Right, so I might take out Red Thirteen for now. Just to get that skill. Uh, what's it called? Moogle Magic. And ATB Ward.
Party was turned to stone. The end. Yeah, probably shouldn't mess around with these enemies. I was just trying to get the skills leveled up there. Those things do not mess around. They nearly turned my party to stone again there. Okay, so got that leveled up. Did Aerith get that maxed? Yes. So. Goodbye, goodbye to ceremonial staff. That is a nice weapon, but just the, the ATB slots it only has a few, so compared to the wizard's rod. Crystal megaphones, okay. Okay, I am actually going back just to heal my party. Grab this as 
well. How everyone's doing for materia so far. It's going to take a long time to get that level up. Oh, got that to level 3. He's explaining this is giving me a bit of a flashback to Final Fantasy 16 a little bit. Just the way Ultima, Ultima told Clive and Joshua what what happened to them in the past. But during that scene where he told them. Sorry, I probably should have said spoilers there. That game, not to put a for this much anyway. Yeah, I'll show you what I can do. You can be ready for the end. I can't figure out as well is why does he want us to follow him if he's if he if there are there are like other enemies attacking us? Do you think he could tell all these other spirits just to like back off a bit? Or stop attacking us? There is but one thing that can deliver up to us ultimate salvation. And that is Materia. Yeah, but which materia? What materia? Where is it? You gotta tell me! In the materia of peace, we shall find the end for which we have long yearned. Salvation is cessation. It is 
to exist, but rather to no longer exist. Ultimate salvation is nothingness? Okay. Meet the purest of materia. We place our hope and faith. Stay all welcome here. Yeah. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we should. No. <laughs> Get involved at all, yes. Yeah. Little late for that. <laughs> what do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our one desire, curious of material and with pain and spite a lack. Steeped in our one desire. Is we can't let them have it, no matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now, we play along. Then quenchable first. Three, four more of these, isn't there? Do it. stars called home began to wait until at last it was subsumed. I got you now. It's on you. I'll take care of them. Seas boil, skies shatter. I can fix this. Just 
deal with that. I'm coming! Probably should change out to Barrett here because this doesn't if I face any more of those. Need more attack power for this. Then again, I suppose Kate Sif's got 246 attack power, so. Oh, I can't cast spells at the moment. Oh, that's not good. Those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison. To be granted true release. Okay, the camera's zoomed in for this moment, so what's gonna happen? Shrine to Oblivion. the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice, knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Oh. Interesting. So... He's saying that we we know the Cetra existed on this land before the uh, before Shinra came to it, but is he saying that they existed on the land before the Cetra did, and the Cetra stole something to do with, something to do with them? Like, did they steal the black materia? Is he saying that? Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the black materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. Endless dream? It's making me... The key cannot rest until... It's making me think about, like... Is this gonna... I don't know. Our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover... In redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least. I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. 
I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. <sighs> He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. It appears we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Oh, now he's took us back here. Cave of the G the next uh, morning. I... Guess we're back? Yeah. Okay. Um... Why did he bring us back here We then? need to get moving. Right! It's like, you know, you could have just dropped us outside of here. That would have given us more time. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. Okay then, so looking up, yeah and now that path is blocked off completely, you can't go back down there. Also got all my health back. Yeah the part when he said Endless Dream, that just reminded me a bit of Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy X. And I think it did, I think it was said somewhere that FF7 and X do have connections. Like I did see, I have seen like uh, the person, there's a the person who's supposed to be like the the, the who 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 ran Shinra. Like they had like a photo of him in the remake. So there are definitely connections between the two games. It's good to see you again. Just that made me think of that, uh, back to Final Allow Fantasy Allow me to X. escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. So what happens if I just go back down that way? Oh no, I'm guessing it'll stop you, because it's making you run slowly. Okay. Salvation or whatever, but to me it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope, no way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Sephiroth. So at this point, we have two parties who want the black material. There's Sephiroth who wants it, and there's like the undead, the undead spirits here, the the, the G. So did no one else sense him? No. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Well, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my Materia! Back up to the top then. He didn't trust Kate Sif though, I noticed. Like... So, Kate Sif, I gotta ask, how do you know about the Setra Temple anyway? Yeah, good uh, question. Well, like, uh, I wouldn't say I knew about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. 
terminal, huh? They set any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. Helping hand. Half of return. Okay, so when I said in the last video, Cloud, how did Cloud's party get there? Did they take like an express elevator? Yeah, turns out they did. I was spot on. <laughs> While Barrett and Red 13 took the long path, they took the short path. Oh, thank heavens you're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh... What did become of that thing? Ah, yes, now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say. Though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> you turned it into a windmill. Oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Yeah, this is interesting for Aerith as well because she's finding out more and more about the set, finding out more and more about the Cetera. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a sign of importance to the Cetra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. And it is making you think: were the set were the Cetra in the past, um, uh, like up until this point, they in remake. It was believed that the Cetra were good. But I don't know. Is it is it it's slight questioning now were the Cetra good good in everything they did? So it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now. A friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Speak with one of the guides and they will escort you to various locations around the settlement. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Um, what does he uh, say? I suppose I ought to seal the door once again. That robed man is at the village gate. One of my colleagues is tending to him for now. Okay, I just want to go up here first, so does this just take you back to the, to the town? Heading back there. Uninvited guests. Right, I'm just gonna grab. So, where was the photo uh, part where Snap's marked it? Can I get there now? Or... Right, so it's there.
Oh, good. So it still won't let you fast travel. Interesting. Piano, one more go then. I don't know, I just don't want to leave without completing this. I'll give this a few more tries, if not, I'll just do it off screen again. Try to do off screen, not again. It was better, but still not enough. Yeah, I'll do that off screen. You've really got to get better at that. I feel like I'm getting better and better each time I'm trying it, but just still not enough. Still not there. <laughs> and I don't want to spend like an hour just practicing and just like, I don't know, I just don't want to take up an hour of the video just practicing to get that. Got closer there though, so... We're at the Cosmo Canyon, Cloud. Planetology rejects our Makukans, and now we have the opportunity to share in their planetary knowledge. Okay. I see there was a few more combat challenges, so just get to them. Barrier material, nice. Let's get that. This 
Allow me. It's on you. Come on. Yeah. 
Try that one again. Take down the mind flare player first. The trouble is the party kills the of our enemies too fast. keeps taking if the enemies get too close to you as well they like kill themselves as well as taking away all your HP so I don't know how to avoid that maybe I'll retry it but just with cloud again The way I see it, you would have to be strong enough to take out the Mind Flayer first. From there, maybe you'd have a chance.
Okay, probably should put healing material on cloud. Okay, I do have an idea for this. I'm gonna try one thing. I'm gonna try to put poison on cloud. Mm, this data cure. It's incredible. Thank you for your contr I Okay, so I can take off assess and enemy skill. No, I might keep enemy skill, that's the best. Okay, assess and prayer. I might take off assess and prayer. Cure and poison. If I can poison the mind flare, maybe that will just kill it faster. Okay, Barrett, I'm gonna take that away for a second. Look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. Checking vital. Please rest at your earliest convenience. Okay. Try this again with the full powered version of poison. Just use cloud for this because anyone else it would kill the enemies too fast. Teleports as well, like the spell went to the other next enemy. health points anyway. Cloud, get up. That's the problem as well, if he stuns you, then the enemies can just like grab you and don't kill themselves and take away your HP. HP anyway, so I could just like wait him out.
definitely then try to cure yourself as well. Game over, huh? There's no quick way of doing this, is there? And he doesn't even have a weakness, so... If he was, like, weak to fire, I could just spam Faraga. One more try, proper try, and just if I can't give up. Coming back to that later on. Maybe there is a quick strategy for it. Oh, just seems really tricky at the moment. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that to the smell, but I just want to switch out the material first. Perhaps you're having an off day. I no, your challenges are crap. <laughs> That's why. Having to defeat a certain enemy before the others is just annoying. Okay, so put prayer back on here. And assess.
Wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Hey, Cloud. He's the authority. I'd love to sit in on one of his lectures if I get the chance. I probably should have given Barrett the other material back as well. We'll after this. Just want to finish this one first. So, what's this one going to be? Of course. Okay. Take down the enemy without recovering health points. Back away, everyone. Okay. If he doesn't move here, it's his end. Yes, it's my turn. One shot at a time. Fuck on this. challenging there than it was. Not too bad. Oh, we're done here. Yeah, that one though. I have no clue. Are my trials not challenging enough? I can't help but wonder where... Poison, yeah. And again, considering it's at max, might switch it out for something else now. Only have uh, one wind material, so get that one leveled up. We'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Hey. 
Okay, I think I'm just gonna head on, head to the entrance now and see what's going on here. I'm guessing it's gonna be Sephiroth again, or something that leads to that. Nanaki! Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. Not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nibu, I'm. Nibu, I'm. Ain't that? Ratifa and I grew up. Ah, oh, of course. Nibelheim had a terminal. I bet my whiskers on it. It uh had a terminal. Cloud, remember when you told Guy an attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm gonna prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. We should go. Hey! <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. Okay, back to Sid then. Oh. It may serve as a good place to start. I'll send you the coordinates right away. For that though, gotta get the proto relic. You just worry about getting to Nibelheim. Okay, can I fast travel now? Yes, I can. Okay, finally. Okay, 
so just glide over here. Barely made that, but never mind. I'm not sure what's going to happen after Nibelheim, Nibelheim then, because I uh, don't know where it's going to go to after that. Will it just be like the temple after, straight after that, or...? That's annoying. The second I get the photograph, the person's gone. I'm guessing he went on to the next. He went on to Nibel Nibelheim then? Because I can't see that the marker for it here anywhere. For the photographs. Okay, that's a bit annoying. As soon as I get the photograph, he's like, haha, you're too late. Yeah, I'm sure there's a point in Nibelheim though where you can you can turn in the photograph for Cosmo Canyon area. Yeah, that is a bit stupid though. Yeah, the photo, the photography marker's gone now. Okay, new quest. Have you heard about Avalanche? Okay, I'll do these two quests first before going after the Proto Relic. Hey, 
there. Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Here's something that ought to brighten your day. The association has bumped you up a rank. Congratulations. Honestly, you really ought to show off your work. It bespeaks a beautiful finesse. Never seen anything like it. Some might say it belongs in a gallery. Prodig prodigious photographer. Nice. Next rank. Okay, so is there an elevator going further on it? So where exactly is is Boogerhaven then? One there. And there's another one here. Now where could it have run off to my <laughs> What are you doing? Nothing much. We're preparing for field work. Haven't performed any in quite some time. At the moment, I'm trying to hunt down my tools. I must have buried them awfully well. But when? Field work? At your age? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you ought to let us handle it. <laughs> They're treating me like I'm some invalid. But I'm the very picture of health. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. See what I mean? Just swallow your pride and let us take care of whatever it is. You stay and rest. <sighs> well, I suppose I should take you off of the offer while you're still here. Very well. I'll let you assist me. Good. Now, lay it on us. Something has been troubling me as of late. Take a look at this field report from my previous survey of the life springs in our local region. Are you sure this is accurate? It was at one point, but life springs are beautiful. They rarely remain in one location for long. Indeed, such events move periodically. Nothing unusual about that in the loop, however. It is not their positions which trouble me. Rather, what the survey team has reported. Mm -hmm. Perhaps this fact-finding expedition of ours will clear things up. I would have you visit this site first. Yeah. Measure the Marco frequency using this meter of mine. All right, we'll do. I'm guessing it's not going to be around here then. Right, so where even would that be?
blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Come on in. So where's the other one then? Flight of scholarship. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? One of the windmills right there, so Blessings of the okay, I'm just going to go back down. Anaki's companions, yes? Forgive me. I've yet to introduce myself. I am Caesar, one of the canyon's mentors. Now then, to answer your question, rather vile fiends have been sighted in the Vale. Ones believed to be portents of calamitous ruin. Really? The creatures have been observed on many occasions in times long since past, but always has our planet risen to the challenge brought her might to bear and staved off disaster. It is through this unique celestial event that the planet provides us with proof of her victory. As you can see from these photographs, once the cataclysm has been averted and our world stands triumphant, gloriously resplendent comets grace the heavens. Huh. I don't see anything like that around here. Indeed. Though it should be said that none of these pictures were taken close by, but rather far from our current location. Perhaps we simply cannot see the miracles from here. The falling stars may have left their marks in the skies elsewhere. We're gonna go look for them, right? As if you'd ever take no for an answer. Truly? You would do this for us? It would be a great weight off our shoulders were you to find if you are serious. I suggest visiting the three locations in which the fiends were last seen. The signs we seek may show themselves there. Here, use these reference materials and this recording instrument. Photograph the comets you spot, though try to ensure your pictures match ours. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Do remember that your photographs cannot be too dissimilar from... Okay, 
Okay, so photograph phenomenal. That's it, I'm not high enough to get to that. Uh-oh, ill omen, 12 o'clock. Okay. This is new. Yes! <laughs> 
I actually want to just leave this because I want to see what Bahamut's ending uh, move is going to be. Come on. Oh, don't kill him yet, just hand this out. Yes. Giga Flare. Overkill. Oh, the picture. Right. Okay, take photograph. Okay, so how do I zoom in here? I should tell you what. Is this okay? Did you even look at the photos they gave us? Um. No, let's just take it. So is there other stars around here, or is it just this then? Okay, so by a rocky, rocky cliffside. So where is that then? Oh, so that was the wrong photograph. So it's this one. Or... No, it's that one because that one's got the like. Right, so. I've got more of an idea now of what it is, so. Aha! Yeah, I probably should just back up here a bit. What about from here then? Seventy-five percent, come on. Seventy-six percent, like, this is a bit ridiculous. Okay. Back up even more, then. Yeah, just zooming in. Ruins it, so okay. How perfect does this photograph have to be? And it, like, does it that pretty that looks pretty much no difference? Is it because I'm too far away or a little bit closer? Seventy six per cent. Does it does it have to be eighty per cent out of eighty?
Perfect. Got it. Nice. This is perfect. Yes, it is. Are you happy with this picture? Yes. Well, well. Maybe you ought to add photographer to your resume. <laughs> Let's look for other spots. Oh, let's fast travel to a first spot. Proto relic, probably. He doesn't look happy. Okay, same thing as before then. Punch Oh, 
Okay. Obtained a photograph of Aerith praying. I kind of wish I would stop saying the same thing. <laughs> Some of the times I'm saying like the same things the characters are saying. Two down. Just one more less. A bit silly. Let's go. Okay, so where's number three then? Seems to be in there, but you can't. Can you get in there at the moment, or? This seems to be an area you can't get to just yet. Maybe you can. I don't know. I haven't been down this path. Where the play art to the vehicle was going to be for this one. Okay, so I can see a bit of it there, but where's the rest? I see you're approaching the signal. The source appears to be somewhere in the canyon's ruins. One of the life springs. We should just mark that.
of our way. You snuck a shot of me earlier. Nothing sneaky about it. Is that so? <laughs> hey, let's get a selfie together, okay? Come here. <laughs> oh, perfect. I do wonder if the photos are going to come into play later on in the game. Like, probably not, but just wondering. Okay. Perfect. Wow! It looks exactly like the photo they gave us. Yeah, happy with that. Guess we gotta get these back to Caesar, huh? So before that, okay, so that's the one there, report to Caesar. I want to do this one as well, though, the Mako frequency. Be funny though if it, those photos end up like in Zack's world. And the, I don't know. Just like that would that would explain it's not like a coma dream that it, that both it's like there's two timelines or two alternate universes. 
Like both clouds and both Zack's world. That would be one of the things to confirm it anyway. Because so far I'm still wondering if it's going to be... If it's going to be revealed it's like a coma dream or something. Because... I don't know. Seems weird how Cloud and Aerith are both asleep. Like they're both in like a coma in Zack's world. I do wonder if those photo, that photo there, is going to come into play. If you if you took a photo or not later on, a bit like uh, Final Fantasy XV as well. There was a spoilers. There's a part in that the ending where, if you had took a photograph, it does show up in the ending in some way. I won't say any more than that. Just uh, if you take a photograph in the the final like fight, it does show up right right in the end. If if you want to pick like a photo, a special photograph. So, yeah, there's that one there, but where do I go for that? I did see two buildings, like I've marked. Oh, did it take my marker off? I put like a. Okay, that's a bit annoying. It removed the marker I put down the pin. I did set a pin down for that area in case it was to do with the plot, like the the quest. Okay, actually, so fast travel now available. Yeah. So I'm wondering where, where would that, the mark on the, uh, it said it's in the life spring. So are they talking about one of the, one of, hang on a second, where would the nearest life spring be to this? Probably that one. Or this one here. Try this one. I think that's confusing. Are they talking about the life springs you find on the map, or is it different ones? Just fast travel to all the live streams. Will it still show up, or are these nothing? Are these not connected to it? It doesn't seem like he was talking about these live springs.
going to teleport to the Moogle's house just to see from the vantage point. Cosmo Canyon's over there. Right, so six windmills. I'm guessing it's that spot there. So I didn't really explore that much.
second, you can see a path there. That's one way of getting there. Cosmo Canyon, it would be just around here then somewhere.
sure it's fully explored over here. Maybe it's this tower here. So the bird's nest would be next to this. Probably over here somewhere, so... Actually, I wonder if I go to the cave with the G. Seems like it should be somewhere down here though. I don't know if this is right or wrong. Is this... Can I just fast travel? Yeah, you can still fast travel. Back there.
don't think it would be underground, because that would be stupid if, if it's just like over there. Okay, I'll try. I don't think it is in the cave of the G. If it's not, I'm just going to go finish off this quest. I see like boards over there, maybe that's it. If we get down from here. Chocker over there is going to jump straight off the cliff. Okay, this has to be it then, because it's just right down from there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, not easy to find. But... How are we supposed to get past it? Or is there another entrance? <laughs> ah, forgive me. But you'll need a key. It slipped my mind. Yeah, now you tell us. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at home. Well, there's no need to make such a fuss. I simply wish to see this with my own eyes. building where I put the pin down earlier was one of those. Okay, speaking of, still there. Good to know. Oh no, is that the pin for the treasure chest? Yeah, it's the one for the chest I just got. Damn it. Okay, so where's the uh, photographs? Okay, so right, so there's one by a springboard somewhere, and one down in a cave. This is why I would have liked like multiple pins for this, because I could have pinned those areas earlier. Well, 
round of houses. I forgot where that area is. Okay, found it. There's one. Oh no! Where did all these monsters come from? Hurry! We gotta protect the spring! Deal with that. Here goes. This one's for you. It's your turn. Oh, no. this one's for you. I got this. Just me, or does that sound like a weapon? Ah, yes. If that were the case, then maybe... Right, yes. We have not a moment to lose. We must continue our work. Okay, now I don't know if that was the second or third. Probably should have done these in order. So I'm guess, going to take a guess that was number two, the bottom one here. I hope, anyway. Maybe number three is in this somewhere. Life Spring Survey Station 3. Right, so if that was number 3, then number 2 should be above it, just there. somewhere around here.
So I can see a gliding platform down there, so there's a way to get down there. Bring it. Second treasure here, so where is it then? Is it just across there? doesn't explain how you're supposed to get to this area. What's that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be the springboard? Uh, I can't really make that out. I'm 
guessing number three is the bottom one, but there's one there, so... Yeah, I'm guessing if number three's here, it's number two is supposed to be right up here somewhere. If I teleport to this area and just... Make my way to it now from here. Can't be there though. Yes. It's like a part there, is that supposed to be a cave? Below that, that's number two is down here somewhere. Maybe I've got it the wrong way around. Found it! Nice. Okay, that didn't take too long. They had no chance. That was excellent. Oh, thanks. Well, this doesn't look good. Ten? No. Four hundred? The meter's going crazy. What's a GZ anyway? How do you even read this? GZ stands for Geisel, his first name. Bugenhagen was the first person to discover that the life stream emits energy we can measure. 
<clears throat> but that's not worth mentioning. More importantly, our work remains unfinished. We'd best get on with it while we still have the light. This is the site to which I would have you attend next. Good luck to you all. And okay, so there's a four of one. So where's the last one then? Okay, that isn't... Oh! Ha ha ha! I know where that is, I think, because I can see the Moogle's house on the left. So that kind of gives it away. So it's down from the Moogle's house, and it's just like around the corner. Okay, so... Where's the Moogle's house? Over here. So it's somewhere roughly around anywhere. It could be anywhere there. Yeah, I wonder if it's best to... Yeah, should probably just go from the Moogle's house. here somewhere. Oh, did I activate this one? Yes, it's probably down there somewhere. It could be over there, don't know. I'm not sure if it's over here or over there. Okay, where's the... Is there no uh, flight pad up here? Oh, there is. corner there. Okay, can I get up here? Yes I can.
I'm betting it's up there. Or at least quite positive anyway. Oh no, that's the could be like a live stream. No, that's not the live stream I'm looking for. they would just tell you where it is now because this is a bit of a nuisance trying to find the location. tower then, so where would a tower be near hang on a second there isn't one so any other towers there.
fast travel back to the Moogle's house. There has to be a point you can glide to where it should be. Maybe if I go back down here, it's somewhere. Oh, it's over there. I found it, never mind. Is that it or.? It has to be. Yes, it is. Okay, thank goodness. Um, what? Is there a fifth one then? I don't know about. Why don't you get in there? A bit now. Yeah, so there's one here. Am I the wrong one then? I don't understand. Telling me that there's, there's going to be a fifth one. And that the one I was, the one I just found there was the next one. That's kind of made me even more confused now. To be like, well, where's the before then? I'm guessing it's somewhere here then. Between the tower, so... Back at the Moogle's house, I didn't want to go back here, so. Okay, there's the Moogle's house, there's the fan, so. Maybe it's somewhere here. Number six. No. Okay. 
Okay, I'm really not understanding this now. That's two I've found. There's one there, so... Is this the movable sound to get over here again? Yeah, so it's the same one then, so just... Yeah. The marker was off a bit there, so... Okay, so number five should be over here somewhere. I'm guessing that's the last one over there. Number five, I meant to say number four. Sure at the moment. If I can't find it in the next bit, I'm just gonna move on and go do the go finish off the other quest. Because at this point, I'm not really sure. Kind of hoped number three was gonna be the last of these. Knows it's around here somewhere, but just no clue. Okay, so it's down from the Moogle's house, so. So there, so it would be down. I feel like that should be it, but for some reason it's not. The door won't open. So it's gotta be another one then. Maybe 
over there, maybe that's it. I'm just going to do the other quest for now, finish off that, and just go for the proto relic because I'm wasting my time here a bit. I know that's going to be the last one anyway. The one by the Moogle house. I know that's at least the final one. What happened? It's just I can't find number four. The planet is... Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? stars have indeed revealed themselves to us. Mm -hmm. All three of your photographs are precisely what I require. Yes, these will make a marvelous reference for posterity. Okay, tarot hmm. cards. As always, our planet is as strong as she is beautiful, no matter the calamity. We have no reason whatsoever to fear for her demise. Interesting. It appears that there are more comets than were previously observed. Perhaps this is a sign that our planet has, in fact, grown more robust. Yes, surely it is. And if we take note of their positioning and connect each with lines, just so. I see it. The pattern. An unprecedented configuration. Hey, what did you wish for? Hmm? Well, only what anyone else would. I just asked the stars to protect us from harm. Right. Of course. That face you made earlier, what was that about? I don't know what you mean. Guess the shooting stars have said their piece.
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna look up where number four is off screen to continue with that because I've got no clue. I've, I've searched that area. Okay, I'm just gonna have another look. Maybe I missed something. Is it over here somewhere? I mean, where would there be a tower? Was I looking in the wrong spot? So it's literally right next to a cliff. I mean, really, looking at the map, it should be that one. Is there something more to the quest? Like, enter the fourth life stream and take new measurements? Yeah, so there's, there's definitely two more. That's one of them. It's like, where's number four then? Maybe it's there? Relic now.
second, is that it over there? Okay. Just when I didn't want to find it, I found it. Okay, this is it. Wow. Just the second I didn't want to find it. Oh, here it is. Something isn't right here. Be careful. Yeah, I had literally given up on this at this point, and I was going to try and find it off screen, but never mind. Okay, fireball blade. I'm coming. Sorry about that. You're dead. Get ready. Here. And I don't know where the last one is. Oh, the whispers are draining them. Whispers? Yeah, why are the whispers drain draining the life strip the life crystals, life stream? We have been graced by curious guests. Hey, I was wondering, do you believe in fate? That something out there controls our future? Oh ho ho! Fate is a salve we use to soothe the sting of disappointment. We are the masters of our lives, Nanaki. Would you not agree, Cloud? Yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure Remake's, uh, remakes uh, Platinum Trophy was called that. Masters of Fate. is an unprecedented level of activity. Now there's proof that the flow of the life stream has shifted in some manner or another. The question is, was this shift natural, or was it the product of an external force? A question for another time. One location remains. I wonder where that could be. No, seriously, where could it be? Over there? Over here? Don't even need the map. Weird. I don't see any monsters this time. Hmm. It appears that this site has gone fallow. Meter, if you would. Who handle these guys? Get back! <laughs> Allow me. Oh. <laughs> 
For this. <sighs> My point exactly. I learned far more than I anticipated today. Though I harbored doubts, I now concede that you were right. Something is happening to the planet. Any questions remain, but I can share with you some answers. Life springs are founts of Marco whose locations are dictated by the life's head in all my years. Guessing Never these have I seen a once then. thriving spring while still just a theory. Oh. Given all I have witnessed, I believe the planet well, is changing are. on an unprecedented scale. Ah, the weapons. I first learned of them from amusing fables and Cetran tomes. Yeah, why didn't it play the voice there? That was a bit weird. Quite frankly, I did not believe they existed. I thought them merely allegorical. Thus did I dismiss the tales of your encounters with these incredible creatures. No, that's not it. In truth, I was terrified. Weapons are born into existence when the planet is in crisis. When the survival of all creation is at stake. I hope you will forgive me my discourteousness. You came to me in good faith, and I turned you away. But we must face our fears. Only then can we hope to overcome them. And so I face mine. The weapons have come, and they portend a grim future for us all. A malevolent energy descended upon that life spring. Never in all my years of planetological research have I ever seen such a disturbing phenomenon. You, however, appeared unfazed by what you witnessed. Good thing you got. Good thing I got the subtitles on again for this. Yeah. <laughs> you needn't explain, Nanaki. Indeed, it may be best that you do not. The experiences of others may skew our own perception for the time being. Quiet observation is key to unraveling this. In the grand scheme of both the planet and the life stream, the lives of us mortals and the sublunary parts we play are undeniably inconsequential. For our world is the accumulation of trillions of souls, an assemblage of all life that ever was and will ever be. But that is far too reductive a way to view the cycle which sustains us. We are, after all, a part of the planet. And the planet is a part of us, too. We mustn't forget 
that even the smallest of ripples can gather the strength to become the greatest of waves. It is thus incumbent upon us to do all we can in the time we are allotted. Do not die a ripple. I endeavor to do just that. I will continue to work to uncover the planet's secrets. And if I find anything, I will let you know. All right, just try not to overdo it. For me? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Now, who could this be? Why, it's from a watchman in town. How odd. Oh! What did you say? Is something wrong? I fear there is. The survey team has returned with reports of sightings of key spirits within the veil. But they were sealed within the cave. Indeed they were. I can attest to that. So how did they get out? Well, these are spirits, Narlaki. Who knows what they can or cannot do? Though I know this is sudden, will you lend us your raid? <laughs> Go and speak to the watchman at the gate. I will return to the veil on my own. Quest then. We just got word from the survey team that they spotted the Gi right outside of town. Yeah, I heard. Are they okay? They weren't attacked, were they? Don't worry. Everybody's fine. Happened to be near the elevator, so they were able to escape in time. Though they had to leave their truck behind, unfortunately. Okay, I'll go take a look. We can't let more into the veil. Appreciate it. Just, uh, be careful out there. Seto, I'm... Fools of wretch. You think we shall be fooled again? Undying is our enmity. Here we shall have our revenge. Watch out, penguins. Bundle up. 
Son, Nanaki. There's a lot of things I don't know yet, but I want to learn. Can you teach me about my father? About you? Your father. I see. As you wish, son of Seto. What would you like to know? To say nothing, Seto. Seto ventured deep into the caverns below your home that day. Alone. That he might persuade us to cease our ingress. Though we had braced ourselves for battle. I'm sorry, what, what is that? It's like, this isn't voiced. Found. Hang on a second. I'm just gonna pause this to actually read this because it's not voiced. resplendent mane. I don't know if that's a glitch or not with its... He was a beautiful creature in both body and soul. So sweet were we by his courage. I'm hoping that doesn't happen in a later cutscene when the like what like there's like the main villain saying his plot it just like cuts the audio. And sincerity it would be funny. But we chose to entrust with him our singular desire. We desire the return of our black materia and deliverance from this purgatory. We believed Seto to be a man of his word, but his betrayal proved otherwise. Our hopes placed in him only to be trampled upon. We were forsaken. Overcome with rage. One by one, our arrows found their mark. Yet Seto was unfazed by our assault. Yeah, why is it only certain lines? Like this here now. As a confidant, our secrets he would keep. As a penitent, our vengeance he would accept. Yet Seto would not forsake his duty to keep us from the veil. Yeah, it seems when you're not facing characters, or when the camera goes away from characters, the audio just like cuts off. He was resolute, his will adamantine. And with every arrow that struck, his body hardened to match his resolve before our very eyes. Unmoving in the face of our relentless onslaught was not long until we lost heart 
conceding the futility of our plight, and sank back into the dark depths whence we came. Yet the darkness granted us no comfort, and certainly not the oblivion for which we so desperately yearn. I... I know this might sound hard to believe, but I want to finish what my father started. I want to fulfill his promise to you. Is that so? And even if you don't trust me, Gina Talk does. He asked me to get back your materia. Like I told him, I'll do everything I can to make sure you can rest in peace. All I ask is that you wait in your cave until I return. And if we comply, you will keep your word. It might take some time, but I'll do it. Very well. At long last, and thus, the promise has been made. See that it is not broken, son of Seto. You sure about this? They're gonna hold you to it. And I hope they do. Dad understood the Gi's suffering, but he also understood others would suffer if the Gi ever got the materia back. He was willing to bear that pain for them, even if it turned him to stone if it meant that he could spare others from their wrath. We just have to find that black materia, and we have to make sure that no one gets their hands on it. Not the Gi or anyone else. But I do want to keep my promise. I'm gonna find a way to release them from their suffering. There's gotta be an answer out there somewhere. And I'm not gonna stop searching until I find it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Spoken like a true watcher. You heard all that? Our hopes and our dreams give us strength. Remember that. Hold tight to yours, and see that you never let them go in time. They shall lead you to the answer you seek. Okay, just the proto-relic now. It's down on the down there. Is it something to do with the... Audio, here we are. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything there. It seems... Oh yeah, they added new... Uh... Options for like performance mode in the last no update as well. 
Yuffie's gonna take you home. Is that Materia I smell? My precious Materia, where are you? No need to be shy. After the Sector 7 plate fell, the things we saw and heard, all the carnage, it was hell. We wanted to help, we really did. But how? It all seemed so hopeless. That's when the call came, from the folks at Avalanche HQ. We learned it was the company that dropped the plate, and that they were gonna drop another. Unless we stopped them. HQ needed volunteers to help storm the Shinra building. This was our chance. We knew it was the right thing to do. All of us. Wedge and I ended up being assigned to the same truck. Oh, that's actually showing what happened. We'll From infiltrate the building via the underground parking facility. From there, we make our way up. Taking each and every floor. We've lost contact with Lucia's team. I think we have to assume they're all. That's enough. First, we'll check in with Matt. On it. Let me just scooch on over here. I'm Wedge with the splinter cell. Barrett's crew, right? Mm -hmm. Here, try one of these. It'll help you calm down. Thank you. Go on, eat up. <laughs> Our team was heading upstairs to take out the president. I know what you're thinking. Avalanche doesn't do that. But when the plate fell, the rules changed. Yeah, I for actually forgot about the 50, the fifth, seven, 50 staircases. Come on, man. Get the lead out. Don't want to be left behind. Thanks for the assist. Help me out of here. All right, we're almost there, boys. At long last, we're gonna take back our world, find the bastards who stole it, and send them to hell. Yeah! yeah. I've got friends up there who need to know we're coming. Oh, uh, sorry, but I didn't want them to get hurt, sir. <laughs> Go! I'll catch up! Right. We were all fired up. Ready to fight. Let's go! Let's go! 
couldn't believe it. It was him. So, guessing Wedge didn't survive remake then. Yeah, he left it a bit ambiguous there, if, like when the whispers blew him out the building, if he survived or not. Thank you. That's like confirmed 100% what happened. <laughs> Damn it! Don't worry, it's all good, bro. Hey, y'all heard that, right? That was Wedge! Barrett, those who pass on become one with the live stream. I know what you thought you heard, but it was probably just the wind. <clears throat> In times past, the Cetra came to fonts like these to give thanks to the life stream. There aren't many left, so we wanted to help preserve the few still standing. It felt like the least we could do, you know? For all those who return to the planet. Hey, Barrett, why don't we give them a hand? Help them spruce things up. Is there anything we can do for you? I don't know. Restore the planetary fonts? They're this region's main source of energy. And kind of like relief valves for the live stream. But when they're as busted as this one here, you can't even get close to do repairs. Mako's way too dense. So we figured we'd use a probe. Fix the fonts remotely. Thing is, little guy's just too old. Probably better off in a junkyard than with us. Perhaps I can be of service? Robotics is one of my areas of expertise. Meet Robot Chadley. <laughs> or Robo Chad, if you prefer something abridged. At any rate, you should now have complete control over him. Go on, ask him to do something. Restore the font, okay. <laughs> Play gears and gambits, okay. Is this gonna be like Fort Condor again or Okay, so this is something brand new completely.
guessing there's going to be a hard mode of these as well, isn't there? Like Fort Condor. Wow. It's a shame the others ain't here to see this. Who says they're not? <sighs> What's that? I believe that light will lead us to another set of ruins. <laughs> and another font to fix too, I'll bet. Is it okay if we tag along? Sure, why not? Whatever beef I've got with you HQ kids, the planet's welfare takes priority. growing up. You don't think they were talking about the Gi, do you? Hmm. Perhaps. But the energy signature would suggest otherwise. Given that it so strongly resembles that of a proto-relic, I surmise these structures were designed to contain one. For now, let's continue to restore them. I'm sure we'll find something within. The planet itself is guiding us. I've also developed an additional AI chip for RoboChip. Hopefully, it expedites our work. <laughs> Shops because that's out Yeah, don't know what I'm doing with this so far, just seeing what happens. Okay, so.
over here. Pretty much lost this one. Okay, I'm gonna get that another go on my. See here a minute. Is there anything else that can? Barrier shot. better this time.
half health. He's only got like a little bit of health, come on. Yes, got it. We all talked about coming out to see the canyon one day. That night at the bar, remember? Yeah. You guys were trying some new cocktails for me. Mmm. Yep. This is the one. Bartender! Whip me up another Costa del Sol. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm cutting you off. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> one more couldn't hurt. Now me? I'm a Cosmo Canyon guy. Mmm, that one was pretty good, but it was missing that special flourish. Guess what I got? Huh? Ta-da! Cosmo Salt! Can't call it a Cosmo Canyon without a touch of local flavor, right? Trust me, a dash of this will make all the difference. What's Cosmo about it? Huh? It's mined from the canyon itself, the birthplace of planetology, and pretty hard to come by, I'll have you know. Oh my god. That cell's gotta be laced with something. Wow! <laughs> You're right! Wow! It's like a whole new drink. Man, it's too bad the stuff is so hard to come by. If only I had more. I thought you might say that, but out the whole store so you can keep on mixing. But those will only last us so long. Especially if this Cosmo Canyon becomes a hit. Gonna need to stock up. In that case, what about a trip to the source, huh? We could all bring back as much salt as we could carry. What do you say? Count me in. Home of planetology, here we come! It's gonna be great! Oh, really? Huh? Y'all think we got money to be taking field trips? Cause our books say otherwise. Here. <sighs> Shit, we gotta go. There you have it! The boss himself says it's a done deal! To our generous leader. <laughs> to to Barrett. Honestly, y'all are just too much. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, we made it. Would have liked to have gotten here sooner, but. <sighs> Wait, you think?
fixed it already? Ages ago, slow folks. Come on, double time. Coming. Okay, where's the next one? Okay, I might finish the next two off in the next video for this part, just because this is... It took quite a bit of time just doing the three quests and just like finishing off just the last bit there. After I've done the next two, it'll be just going straight back to a... I'm guessing it'll be going to Nibelheim then. With Sid. So yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. I do like that we're getting more flashbacks for Remake though. Just like stuff that we... stuff... cutscenes we never saw before. Just like new, brand new scenes. But yeah, I think I'm going to end it here for this part and finish... finish off the Proto Relic quest in the next video. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, really enjoyed those three quests. They were all quite good. Apart from the one with the map where you had to find the different areas. That took up quite a bit of time. But I'm glad I did though because I still had quite a bit of uh, Cosmo Canyon to explore. Found, found a lot of new stuff, just the the golden uh, plumes and that in the area. For any of the other items I might get. But anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next part, bye.